Yo, what up people welcome back as you can see I recolored the whole image so the only thing I have done but like I told you on part one is that I just color like each each layer I have my own piece of of color like the nose the hair for uh, for the dog the tongue and this is just courage now I want to go to Eustace and, and, these, and this is like all the layers I have done they're just colored, like I haven't done anything special or nothing like no shadows or none of that, no, no like little little detail yet. So I got everything like his left eye, the little button, his pants, the shirt, his skin. But yeah, now that we're back, we're gonna add some little bit of detail, but let's start with courage. Now when I do my little details, like like little shadow, we're just gonna add some shadows and some little bit of light. What I do is, let's go to courage, his hair. And what I do, remember what I taught you about the control button? Or for the Mac is um, the, the command. You'll see the little square, remember? Look at it. I'm gonna click it once. You see, it selected the colored area, which I want to color. So I'll, what I would do to not show that, is I'll hit control and H. What that does, it hides that selection. So the only thing that is selected is just the pink, which is the hair of, of, of the dog. So I'm gonna show you a little quick shortcut for the eye drop. As you can see, I still have the brush, right? Hit, click, um, alternative button. Do you know the alt button, like next to the space button? Now, click it once, that way I got that color again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little darker color to like add like a little shadow like that one's okay hit okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click well I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the, the soft brush you know just click the soft brush it, it comes with Photoshop so it's not like no custom brush that I made or anything it, it comes with Photoshop so make sure this one what we're gonna do is just add some some shadows you know like make it pop out a little as you can see, like it's only coloring what I selected. I'm not coloring like the, the background. See, as you can see, like I'm coloring the background with, with the same color and nothing's happening because only this certain object is selected, which is the color. So that's good. So I'm just gonna color that, make that darker, make, make this hand darker. Like this, I'm gonna give this a little shadow. There we go, now we're gonna switch switch the color palette, like switch the color. And do the same thing, hit the, the Alt key button, so the little eye drop will pop out. Click it, you got that color again. And we're gonna get a lighter color for the highlight. And that one's okay. Now let's do it, like, some little highlights. This to be the highlight, like little legs. <laughs> we got some little funny legs. See, that's giving like a little bit of depth, you know, like a little bit of detail. Not too much, but like at least something, right? Because it's just a 2D animation, little cartoon show that they brought on Cartoon Network. So they never really did have shadows, just unless like. There's shadows like in, in the floor, that's it. But then that was just nothing but pure flat color. Now that I'm done with that with the paint, I'm gonna go with the tongue. And you'll see no like you'll see right now, watch. Like I still have the object selected, but it's hidden because I hide it. So let's say if I want to start coloring the tongue, which is already selected, see nothing's happening. Then you're gonna be like, well, you know, well, what's wrong? You know, well, like why I can't color it. You gotta deselect the object. When you deselect it, what you're gonna do is just hold Control and D. Now it deselected, so now I could, you know, see, start coloring again. Let me undo that. So now we're gonna do the same thing. Hold the Control button right on the square. You'll see the little square pop out. Click it once. So we select it. Now we're gonna do is hit Control H, hide it again. Same thing, all key, select the same color. Find a little darker one, that one's good. 
Let me just get your little shadow. That's it. Switch it again. The same thing. Now we get a little lighter one. Just a more lighter. See that? It's okay like that. Now, now that I'm done with courage, I'm trying to like make this quick. I'm gonna go to the nose, use the same thing. Control D. Now hit Control again. Select that object again. And then hide it. Control H. And I'm using the Wacom tablet. It's a bamboo. It's pretty small. Like it's a small bamboo Wacom tablet. And I know most of y'all like just use mouse. I just use a a bamboo, you know, small bamboo, nothing special. It's just a wake on type, but it's a bamboo, small. It's small. I'm not working with a with a big um, wake on tablet, like a medium or large size. I just use a small one. And that's a little light right here. Same thing with the lid. It's just you're just repeating the same process. That's how I usually do my my, my speed paintings, you know, my videos. And most people think I mask, but I, I don't I don't mask. I just the way I'm doing it right now, that's how that's how I do my paintings since day one. I just got used to doing this. I just got used to it. Get a lighter color. Let's get like this one. Let's pop out. So I'm just adding simple detail, you know, not nothing, nothing too realistic, you know, just something simple, so that way the image could just pop out easily. Mask, hide it, select the colors. It was you. You're, you're always gonna be messing with three colors: a, a light, which is a highlight, the medium, and then a dark. Get a lighter one. That was cool. Like that. Like that. See? Now next we got the teeth. It. Same thing, just repeat the process. Alright, I'm just gonna fast forward this so that way I don't waste too much time. And yeah, you know, I'm just repeating the same thing over and over, you know, just selecting my layer and then just coloring it. But yeah, you know, I just I just made this tutorial for for those artists who just prefer drawing on paper and then scanning it and then just take it up uh, the Photoshop. And like I said, just scan it. 300 dpi rgb mode and you're good to go and i and i did i did the coloring so that way i show you how i do my coloring the way i color here is the way i, I do my coloring like on on any of my speed paints 
But yeah, if you want to try it out and if it helps you out, you know, that's cool, you know, go for it. But you want to, like, color your own self, which is the point, you know, like, I just show you how I just do my coloring, but you can color it how you want to color it because, you know, it's your drawing. You color it how you want to color it. All right, now that it's done, well, personally to me, I still need to like add a little bit more detail to make it look nice, look a little bit more better, but since this was just a tutorial, I just wanted to point out what I pointed out in the beginning. If you're an artist that just likes to do line work and feel better on paper, and then just scan it, and then just take it to Photoshop, I just taught you how to do that in the, in the, on the first part. So now we got that out of the way. And second is, is the coloring. What I just show you is like how I color, how I color all the time, like on all my speed paintings. All I do is just color one thing, one color, and then just name that layer, and then make another layer, and then another layer, and then just just have like a lot of layers. But for me, it works, and other people just just work with the same layer. I used to do that back in the days, but now now I stop because this one really works for me now. But if you're at this point. You know at this video so thank you for watching and if it helped you out you could post a, a video response or just write something uh just write something in the comments below you know just say if, if it if it if it really helped you or not but yeah thanks for watching and and i hope to make another tutorial anytime soon this week so yeah peace out